Let's show you how you assess uh, the proximal rectus femme uh, muscle tendon. So we start in the middle of the thigh and we identify in a cross section, we identify the indirect tendon, which is shown here in the image. And we keep it in the middle of our screen and we keep our eye on it as we go proximally. The tendon would slowly go to the medial corner of this compartment and the muscle of course gets smaller and smaller as we go. And if you angle it, you can make it disappear. So do, do work your probe a little bit and make that tendon visualize all the time so you know where it sits. Like now it's dark, now I make it nice and bright. And then as we get proximal, it will start and come into the bone, which is there. It's the AIIS it attaches to. Okay, once we've done that, we can spin on it. So use the bone as your landmark. Spin on it slowly. And once you have the bone in view, then you can start optimizing. Again, you, you probably have to, like I do here, look a little bit closely how you can best align the tendon because it has a specific angle to really find. There it comes. There. So that's the tendon now aligned. You can see the bony attachment on the right side. The nice about this is we can also see the, the joint underneath it. If I optimize the joint a little bit with a capsule there, and the acetabulum, so you, you, you get some information about the anterior joint at the same time. The other tip is to put a pillow or a roll under the knee. So there's a little bit of knee flexion, but also more importantly, hip flexion, because you have to push quite hard with the probe to get a good image. And it's very uncomfortable for the patient if the uh, leg is fully straight and extension in the hip. So giving a little bit of flexion in the hip helps to make it more comfortable for the patient and easier for you to get the probe position right. So that is the direct tendon of the rec fam. So we go back in cross section. And now we go from the attachment, we go slightly distal. And as soon as you come off the bone, you start seeing this dark reflection and that's the indirect tendon of the rec fem. And then we're going to line it up. And to do that, we put, press the probe a little bit more lateral to flatten that out. And a little bit, the anterior part of the probe goes a bit down. And so what you now have is a view of the direct tendon um, on the left side there, the direct tendon in the cross section and the, the indirect tendon coming off that going laterally and between the bone and the indirect tendon is the capsule of the joint and if I just focus on the joint itself we go here is the articular cartilage with the capsule on top and that's the, the indirect tendon sits there and that is the assessment of the indirect tendon in that plane. Mm -hmm.